Who doesn't love a good old fashioned teen movie? And if you're in the mood for one, Porky's is a classic. Perhaps the classic. Following the misadventures and escapades of a group of teens in the 1950s, this film was very influential and inspired other writers to create their own spin on teen flicks, which may explain why we have so many today. From Porky's to Revenge of the Nerds to American Pie. Yeah, let's hear it. Okay, well, this one time at band camp? Writer and director Bob Clark took years of personal experience and loads of stories from friends to give us a raucous good time. Would you kindly keep your balls off my tumbling mat? Beg your pardon? The basketballs. As well as the fifth highest grossing movie of 1982. I'm Nostalgic Nick with Do You Remember? And today we're heading back to Angel Beach High to check back on the cast of Porky's to see what this great, believable ensemble got into after filming. If you enjoyed the episode, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you never miss a memory. Dan Monahan. Edward Pee Wee Morris is one of the boys looking to have his sexual desires fulfilled by going to Porky's, because becoming a man will certainly halt all the jokes at his expense. Damn it, I told you we were gonna miss him. It's okay, Pee Wee, take it easy. We'll get him next time. Monahan began acting in the late 70s with a few episodes of the hit show Eight is Enough. In 1981, he was a part of the Oscar-nominated film, Only When I Laugh, somehow finding the time to become Pee-wee for Porky's that same year. Of course he'd re-team with Bob Clark for Porky's 2 in 1983, and the Bob Clark-less third installment, Porky's Revenge. His career was short and sweet, enjoying some major 80s teen flicks before slowly backing away from Hollywood. His last prominent role was in 1997, the horror flick Night Flyer which is based on the work of Stephen King. Dan Monahan married a teacher, Sharon Killius, in September of 1982, fresh off that Porky's wave. Today, he is 66 years old and spends his time with photography and golf. He's trying to hit all the best courses in the world, having checked off the old course in Scotland, but he's still awaiting that precious invitation to play Augusta. Mark Harrier. Billy is another member of the gang on a quest to lose his virginity. Harrier began acting on the stage, and when Porky's came out, he had the number one movie in America while starring in the number one Broadway show, being part of the original cast of Sister Mary Ignatius. But Porky's was his first screen gig. He'd go on to guest star in a number of shows, like an episode of the final season of M.A.S.H. and Murder, She Wrote. But that'd be about it. That is, until he made a comeback in 2019, appearing in seasons five through seven of the hit Amazon show Bosh. Flubber McNeil, I can't see a thing, damn it. You be quiet. Harrier stated in a 2022 interview that they originally shot a more graphic version of that iconic shower scene, where Tommy actually puts his penis through the wall and the girls start to freak out because it looks like a snake. The scene was cut to avoid an X rating, but Harrier says, quote, it was actually this pathetic little thing. I think it would have brought the house down. It was hysterical and not pornographic at all. So what are your thoughts on this edit? Do you think it could have worked? Today, Mark is 67 years old, is married with two kids, and lives in California. Wyatt Knight. Now here's Tommy. Of course, it's him, Pee Wee, and Billy who get caught peeping in the girls' locker room. We'll never forget that scene, even if it was apparently the more PG-13 version. Knight got his start on an episode of The Waltons in 1979. You got any beer in here? Well, no, but we've got soft drinks and sugar cookies. Continued on TJ Hooker and Family Ties, but his career tapered off by the 2000s. And at that same time, he underwent a bone marrow transplant for stage four non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. And terribly, the intense cancer treatments left him a shell of himself in both emotional and physical torment. And in 2011, at the age of 56, Wyatt Knight went off to a remote area of Maui where he lived, and the former Porky star died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. We sincerely hope he found peace. Roger Wilson Mickey returns to Porky's for revenge after he embarrassed his friends, but he's beaten so badly he ends up in the hospital. And that's when the rest of the guys become hell-bent on getting their own revenge. Uh, Marquis, I'd like to talk to Porky. 
Porky's busy. Well, he ain't too busy for what I want to talk about. I won't. Roger Wilson held his first role in 1965 and jumped back in much later for 1981's Porky's. You may remember him from Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, the TV version, playing a McFadden boy alongside his MacGyver brother, Richard Dean Anderson. While he had a generally short-lived acting career, he also had musical chops, serving as the lead singer for the band Numb in the 90s and a member of the band Born Again Baldwins in the 2000s. Rogers had a lot of different jobs over the years, a bartender, a bar owner, and even a wellness coach. Today, he is 65 years old and most recently founded the club 7908 in Aspen, which he has been running since 2018. Cyril O'Reilly Tim has a nice character arc going on, which is pretty cool to see in a teen flick. He's got anger issues from his father, and even though he's been picking on Brian Schwartz, Brian still defends Tim against his father, and they do become good friends. Cyril O'Reilly got his start in 1980, and while he surely became a commercial success with the Porky's movies, he's also known for playing the role of a vampire in the film Dance of the Damned in the late 80s. In 1981, he co-starred in the TV movie Splendor in the Grass with Little House on the Prairie's Melissa Gilbert. Then in 2007, the two reunited for one more TV movie, Sacrifices of the Heart. Today, O'Reilly is 63 years old and is making a comeback to acting, appearing in the film Pig Killer, which comes out in 2023. Tony Ganos Meat or meat head, he's the largest guy in the group. The fella could lift cars. His large size certainly made him lovable to women. We will let you do as you wish with that information. Can I ask you something? Yeah, sure. Why do they call you meat? <laughs> Ganyos began acting in 1979, first playing the role of Perry in the 1979 film The Wanderers. Interestingly enough, Tony was actually forced into acting by his uncle Pete at the age of 18. You see, Tony was into powerlifting at the lifting session in Sheridan Square Gym in Manhattan, when he was dragged out of it to audition for director Philip Kaufman, directly leading to his Wanderers role. Hey, you hear me? I'm talking to you. Leave the kid alone. I also remember him from the 1981 John Belushi film Continental Divide. He also appeared in five episodes of the 80s show Wise Guy. But after starring in the film Rising Sun, he entered a semi-retirement. Okay, fellas, you're leaving and actually became an insurance agent in New York City. In 2012, he and some of his Porky's co-stars were going to reunite for a film called Daddy's Girls, but this idea never got made. Today, Tony is 62 and he frequents conventions, giving really great in-depth interviews. Khaki Hunter. Wendy Williams is who Pee Wee finally gets his time with by the end of the film. Classic teen movie endings. Pee Wee, you love it and you know it. Wendy, I will get you. Khaki Hunter began making her mark in Hollywood in 1977, and we later saw her as the lead in the 1980 film Roadie. She also had roles in 1980's Willie and Phil and 1984's Just the Way You Are. Her final role was an episode of the series Tropical Heat before she finally retired from acting. She's actually become a teacher of whitewater rafting in Utah and wrote the how-to book Earthbag Building. Today, she is 66 years old and has been involved in community theater in Utah. She also has a YouTube channel that showcases her singing talent, so check it out after this. Kim Cattrall. Let's just say at a certain point, the boys find out why Miss Honeywell is called Lassie. She began acting in 1975, but rose to fame in the 80s, with appearances in films like Ticket to Heaven and Masquerade. However, most of you know Kim is best known for Sex and the City from 1998 to 2004, reprising the role for the films in 2008 and 2010. In the last decade, she's held a lot of recurring roles in shows, from Sensitive Skin to How I Met Your Father. Today, Kim is 65 and we last saw her in the show Queer as Folk, and she's currently filming About My Father alongside Robert De Niro. And we can't wait. Chuck Mitchell. 
Well, we couldn't leave off Porky, right? A 6'3 titan of a man with a booming voice, Chuck Mitchell was often cast as a villain, making him the perfect choice for the sleazy brothel owner Porky. He was also really great as the sloppy restaurant owner Rocco in the great comedy Better Off Dead in 1985. Ah! And Chuck could also sing and did a set or two of stand-up comedy in his days, but sadly this multi-talented fella passed away in 1992 at the age of 64. It's interesting that many of these actors never eclipsed the success of Porky's, but together as an ensemble in 1981, they made a fabulous film. One of the best coming-of-age teen sex comedies ever. So tell us, who was your favorite character in Porky's? Was there anyone that you loved that we may have missed? Which Porky's installment was the best? Let us know in the comments, we read them all. And before you go, please smash that thumbs up icon, subscribe to the channel for more, and from all of us here at Do You Remember, we want to thank you for watching.